<laughs> hey, um, I'm here with Mark Moss, and he is here to talk about, tell us something that's happening on Sunday. I just saw it over events, so I'd be like, Mark, you got to come on yeah. the show and talk about, uh, tell us something once again. Um, and this one is called? Up the Blackfoot is the, the Blackfoot. theme. We are going to be the closing event for the In Footsteps of Norman McLean Literary Festival. Um, lots of cool events happening this weekend for that. The festival started today. And you can find out information about all the different events um, at their website, McLean in the foot. What is it? It's uh, um, McLeanFootsteps.com. Yep. So tickets and information uh, about all those events that are happening uh, right now. But also to find out more information about Tell Us Something, people can go to Tell Us Something uh, That's where there's a link to get tickets for the event on Sunday. Uh, we have eight storytellers. They have ten minutes to tell a true personal story from memory on the theme of the Blackfoot. So oh. we all have Blackfoot River stories. We're going to hear some stories about horses, hear some stories about fishing and rafting and tubing on the river, um, some rescue, river rescue stories. Uh, really, really interesting yeah. stuff. And even for my own personal um, thing, I've actually never watched or read or had uh, know anything about a uh, river runs through it. Really? I'm like, it's, I mean, like, people are just like, huh? It's like, why not? It's like, I just, I don't know. Well, you know, you'll have a lot of opportunities yeah. to see that this year. Um, Sunday, in the afternoon at the Wilma, they're showing A River Runs Through It. Tom Skerritt will be there what? to do a little bit of Q&A about the film. They're going to show the film in the afternoon, then there will be a little break, and then Tell Us Something starts in the evening. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I remember when I saw River Runs Through It the first time in the theater, I went with my folks, and um, I lived in my own little apartment, and in the morning I went over uh, to have coffee with my mom, and she said, you know, Mark, I saw this incredible film last night. And I said, well, what did you see? Because I remember sitting you know, in the theater next to her, and she said, it was called A River Runs Through It. It really reminded me of you and your brother. And she said, I saw it last night with you. And she was so like sucked into the film that she totally forgot that I was even wow. there. Yeah. And uh, a lot of these stories of Up the Blackfoot are going to be basically everybody's own personal um, experience with the Blackfoot River. Exactly. And the river runs through it. Is that the Blackfoot River? Yeah. The big Blackfoot River is, is where uh, that story is set. Cool. Yeah. So, um, and it's nice because they're going to show the movie beforehand because that's one story about how it became a book and became a feature film. But of course, many other people probably have their own stories of being up the Blackfoot. Absolutely. Well. There's so many Blackfoot River stories. Uh, if you live in and around the, the Missoula area, a lot of people have those kinds of stories. And so... We're going to celebrate that cool. this yeah. week. Have you uh, met any of the speakers? or? Uh... Absolutely. We, you know, So we run a workshop. Tell Us Something runs a workshop for every single event. And ideally, all of the storytellers come together in one space at the same time. Yep. Um, Anybody can do it. Uh, you got to sign up ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody could tell a story. Um, because of the Sealy Lake fire and some of the smoke and some of the, the um, difficulty with that and the challenges with that, uh, not all of the storytellers were able to come together at the same time because some of the storytellers are living up in right. the Sealy area. Um, so I was able to do some one-on-one -on -one workshopping with the folks that couldn't make the main workshop. But I've heard all of the stories, and it's pretty interesting when I'm putting together the roster of who's, who's going in what order. I think about it like what it must be like to put together an album. Yeah. Like if you're, if you're in a band, which songs come first and how that all flows together and so it's a lot of kind of a lot of fun yeah yep. so cool. sunday right. september 10th at the woma up the blackfoot stories tell us something tickets are available at rock and rudy's the woma.com and top hat lounge box office cool. are there any of the uh album um covers right anything for that like any um anyone that kind of really stands out for you like something that's really catchy what do you mean in like terms the of artwork story? oh the story you know i don't want to reveal the gems. They're all gems. Mm -hmm. um, and each story resonates differently with each audience member. So, cool. yeah. Excellent. So once again, Wilma Theater this Sunday. Doors open at 6 p.m. Show starts at 7 p.m. But if you want to show up a little bit earlier, you can see a river runs through it at the Wilma starting at... I think it starts at 1. I would check it out um, in the... I think it's in the Independent. And you can certainly find it on the in the footsteps of Norma McLean. Website. Yep. And at the Independent, at the very back of their page, you see the Norman McLean Festival. So Mark Moss was gracious enough to bring this down here for the interview, just to kind of show this. Um, learn about Norman McLean and more about uh, River Runs Through It and of the Blackfoot. Um,
especially for Mark Moss's Tell Us Something, which will wrap up the event, uh, wrap up the festival right. this Sunday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. at the Walmart. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, I Scott. Really appreciate